welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to solve the question we have on the board here and it's a question under stream function and it reads a steady two-dimensional incompressible flow field in the xy plane has a stream function given by psi equal to a x cube plus v y plus c x where a b and c are constants a given where a is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second b negative 2 meters per second c negative 1.5 meters per second and we are to obtain the expression for velocity components u and v also we are to verify that the flow field satisfies the incompressible continuity equation and c we are to plot several streamline of the flow in the upper right quadrant so this is the question and we are to find these three elements that we have here so how are we going to go about it let's start with the first one we are to obtain a velocity component u and v we were given these three conditions that's a steady a two-dimensional and also a compressible flow field in the xy plane so this is also our plane which means the z plane is also zero so to obtain our expression we know from our string function that u is equal to d psi dy and v is equal to d psi dx so this is our equation or this is our expression that we have here so to find for our u it means we have to differentiate with respect we have to differentiate the psi with respect to y so we would have this to be y if we differentiate this we'll get y and when we differentiate the x components we are going to get three a x squared but it would be negative because this equation is also negative then we move on to the next thing we have to find for that we have to verify whether the flow satisfies the incompressible continuity equation so um, to do that verification the equation is supposed to be equal to zero whatever you get is supposed to be equal to zero so this is the expression so d u dx plus dv dy plus dw dz is supposed to be equal to zero so if we check for dy dx it will give us zero because if we differentiate this with respect to x you are going to get zero so here is going to be zero we know for the v to the same thing applies to the v and for the w we have nothing here for the w and they actually stated that it's a two-dimensional so the w side is also zero so this gives us zero so it satisfies that equation so we move on to the third one which we are to plot several streamline flow in the upper quadrant so what are our variables that we are supposed to find for we are supposed to find for but before that let's try to make y the subject in this expression or equation that we have here so making y the subject we are going to get by okay let me write the equation again q plus by plus cx so we'll have by 
equal to psi minus a x squared a x cube sorry plus c x so we are going to get y equal to psi minus into bracket a x cube plus c x all over b so this is what we are going to get and we have the constants the constants were given to us in the question so we can write y is equal to we don't know psi we know a to be 0 0.5 so x cube plus negative 1.5 so let's just make it minus 1.5 x all over negative 2 so we want to rewrite this equation well so y will be equal to 0 0.5 x cube minus 1.5 x minus psi all over 2 so this is going to be our equation and we are going to vary the psi with respect to the x to find for our y here so this is going to be the order so we'll have x we'll have psi here we'll have x here we'll have y here so our psi since they want it in an upper in an upper quadrant or upper right quadrant we need to get our y we need to manipulate the values here to get our y to be equal to a positive number and our x will also be a positive number so if we start with the x so x one two three four five And let's say we take our psi to be negative 1. So if we try to do this computation, I'm going to get our y to be equal to 0. So you do that for all. So these are my values for the plots. And this is how I got, I got them. I took... Um, psi to be negative one and also the x corresponding x to find for my y so each value or each number you take you find for you use that number you compute that number into this expression to find for your corresponding y and if it is negative it means it doesn't satisfy this so you have to take series of numbers and after my computation you can see that both my x's and my y's are all positive it means it satisfies this so it means i can continue to draw my streamlined plots and also um i divided this because this is my first streamline my second my third and my fourth so you can decide to get to the tenth or to the one million one millionth streamline plot you want so i'm now come to draw my my graph and my graph is not drawn to scale so bear with me so. So this is my x, this is my y. And if I look at this here, I can see the highest 
so far is three so i can zero, one. okay okay so i can start from 0 0.5 no yeah i can start from 0 0.5 1.5 2 and 2.5 and for my y I can also start with that same skill 0 0.5 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 So if x is 1, y is 0, so it will be on this, this line. And if x is 1.5, y is 0 0.2, so somewhere at the middle. And if x is 2, y is 1, so somewhere here. If x is 2.5, y is... 2.53 so that's somewhere here let's see this so this is my first streamline plot so this is my first streamline plot so you plot for the next streamline that's one zero point five so one zero point five here then we move on to 1.5 0 0.47 so 1.5 0 0.47 sorry it was 1 0 0.25 so that's it here then 0 0.47 should be somewhere here then we'll move on to the next one that's 2 1.25 so 2 1.25 somewhere here and so on so something like this then the next one to follows as such so this is how you go about this question 